In Creo Parametric, you can create notes as part of model-based definition. In this video, we're going to cover five different topics, planar notes, semantic references, designating, hyperlinks, and security markings. First, planar notes. I'm going to start off by going to a different combination state that doesn't have any notes in there. For creating planar notes, your first step is to select or create a new annotation plane. If you take a look in the ribbon, you have a variety of different annotation planes that are set up for you, but sometimes you'll find that you have to create your own. I'm going to create one, and first I'm going to turn on the display of my datum planes. Then I can go to the overflow menu. Here we have the annotation plane manager. That opens up the dialog box with your default annotation planes. Here is the new button. I will click on that. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this one 7A because it's going to be for my 7A combination state. Let's choose a reference plane and I'll grab the datum plane that I want to use. And you have a blue arrow for the viewing direction. Right now it is in the wrong direction, so I'm going to use the flip button. And the red arrow is the direction of the text. This is the way that I want it. If you go to the drop down list, you have multiples of 90 degrees, or you could enter in the number that you want. So now I can click the OK button and then close out of here, and I've got my new combination state active. Let's turn off the display of the datum planes. Now I can start creating my planar notes. If you go to the note command, you have three different kinds of planar notes that you can create. You can do an unattached note which, like the name sounds, is going to be unattached to anything. There's not going to be any leader. So I'll left click and then type in the contents of my note. This will be my front view. And then left click a couple times in the graphics area in order to deselect that note. Next up, let's go to the drop down. You have an on item note. And like the name implies, that's going to be directly on an item. So for example, you can attach the note to an edge or onto a surface. Let me see if I can get it here. Yep, there you can see what it would look like for a surface. Let's say I want it on a datum point. I can do that as well. And so I'm going to select this location and then type in my text. I'll just use letter X for that location. And then let's do another one. Deselect it out of the command accidentally. Let's call this one Y and then left click. And so that way I have my two attached notes created in the model. Now let's go to the drop down. You also have the ability to do a leader note, like the name implies that is going to be a note with a leader. And so I'm going to start creating one. Let's attach it to this surface. And then I'll move my mouse where I want the note to appear and then middle mouse click for the location. And then I can say mark surface per mil standard and then left click in order to deselect. And I say, you know what, if this text is a little too big, let's adjust the size. Let's make it a size of 2.5, a little bit smaller, fits my taste. And that way I've got this one created. I'm going to create a couple other additional ones for some additional functionality that I'll show later on. Let's do another note. And I'm going to select on, say, this edge and then middle mouse click. And I'll type in mask surfaces and then the last one that I will create let's create it on this surface right now it keeps on highlighting different edges I mean middle mouse click to locate and I will type in anodize so there I have three different attached notes if you go to the annotations overflow menu there's this option here called snap to guides and a lot of people turn this off if you have it turned on that allows you to make your leader notes either be normal or perpendicular to the various different references and so 
uh, and that's specifically for your notes that are located on edges. Let me grab this one over here. And so as I get close to perpendicular, you can see the symbol coming up on the screen. And as I get close to tangent, it shows that as well. So with the guides turned on, you have the ability to control whether your notes are tangent or perpendicular. All right, let's deselect that. So that's the basics of creating your attached and unattached planar notes. Now let's take a look at semantic references. Semantic references are those which can be read by machines, such as CNC programs or inspection machines. And so if I left click on one of my notes, on the left hand side of the ribbon, you can choose the semantic references for these notes. And by default, it has the surface that was initially selected for the placement of the note. You can add other additional references. So for example, if I spin the model and hold down the control key, I've added that other surface to my list of semantic references. Let's click the OK button. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other different selection methods that you have. I will left click on this note and then go to the references command. If you click on the surface sets tab, you have the ability to use the details button for advanced surface collection methods. I'll hit the add button and so I will select an anchor surface here and then let's do seed and boundary and I'll select this as one boundary surface and select my other boundary surfaces. And so there we have seed and boundaries, the method. Let's click the OK button and then OK once more. And let's look at one last example. I can choose for the surfaces that I want to anodize. Let's click on the references and then surface sets. And I will choose the details button. Let's hit the add button and then grab a surface. You can choose surfaces of all bodies. That's another option that you have available to you. Let's click the OK button. And so that way we have those different surfaces selected as the semantic references for our third note. Next up, options for notes. Let's go to this one that I just modified. If you go to the options button, you have the ability to designate this note. That means that this note and its references will be available to Windchill for use in MPM Link for manufacturing process plans. And if you choose to designate, there is this other additional option to specify that this is a control characteristic that should be treated as such in MPM Link. Let's left click to deselect, and that way that note has been designated. Hyperlinks. You can add hyperlinks to a note. Let me select this note. And then if you take a look on the format tab, this button allows you to add in a hyperlink. You can see that it is the standard control K keyboard shortcut. Let's click on that. And I'll use control V to paste in a URL and hit the OK button. And that way you can see that the note is now underlined indicating that it is a hyperlink. And the last thing to take a look at in this video are security markings. Those are any notes that you want to appear in all combination states. And so I'm going to create an unattached flat note. Let me go to my annotation planes. Let's go back to flat to screen. I'm going to create a, an unattached note. Let's just drop it here on the screen. I will choose note from file. I'll grab my existing note of exclusivity and let me select it again. If you take a look on the right side of the ribbon, here is the button for making this a security marking. Actually, before I select that, I just want to show you if I go to one of my other different combination states, the note does not appear. But if I go back to the note and then left click on it, and then choose security marking and then left click. This note will now appear in all the other different combination states. And so there you can see that no matter which one I go to, 
that note is still on the computer screen. So there you have it, a bunch of other additional functions that you have for notes in model-based definition.